$34 silver is finally here. Prices that we haven't seen since its last rise to $50 in 2011. This is three days before the massive BRICS summit meeting on October 22nd with over 150 countries attending and could potentially be announcing their new currency called the unit. This is also right before the November 5th election. Folks, this is seriously like a scene from a movie. We are living in a simulation and it is absolutely terrifying, but it does come with opportunity and potential. But still, someday in the future, we will be wishing we could build a time capsule and go back to the days when silver is only $34. Mark my words. All right, folks, welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in. If you want silver news brought to you like this on a daily basis, then make sure you click subscribe because I do just that. And if you want the best prices for precious metals, if you want to purchase some of this shiny stuff from a trusted, reliable place, well, I got you. Email slayer at milesfranklin.com or call 330-485-6172. We have new gold and silver specials every single Monday. Promise I'm not a stingy guy. I will hook you up. Up. Now, I thought this was interesting, and by the way, thanks for listening through those announcements. I thought this was interesting. The day before Silver did that huge rally, so on Thursday, this article came out. Bullish chart alert. Is Silver set for another rally? This came out the day before. Look, Silver was 29.14. This was on October 17th, this article was posted. The next day, October 18th, this article came out. This is when it all happened. So I do want to look at this chart and see why they were saying this. So silver's all-time high price is when inflation is factored in. So they're talking about inflation. Um, they're looking at these charts and it's showing a sign, right? Now on October 17th, we could have read this article and said, okay, well, you know, it doesn't mean anything. But now looking back, it really does. Silver's been on record breaking surge since the beginning of 2024, outpacing even gold in terms of returns. Over the past two years, silver prices have increased by 80%, while gold has risen by 60% in the same period. Silver has risen 80% in the past two years. That is insane. So we're going to go over this this is the article, the meat and potatoes we're going to break down. But I also did want to go over BRICS currency or this new currency they could potentially be announcing called the unit or Embridge unit, which is um, backed by 40 to 60 percent um, gold and 60 percent other or I guess 40 to 60 percent of currencies and then 60 percent gold or vice versa. Uh, they don't really know yet, but. That's how they're wording it. There is some other stuff. Uh, it will not be a currency per se, not of a physical form. You know, it's, uh, you know, we'll go into all that later. Let's cover right now what Silver's doing. So you do want to stick through this video if you want to learn more about the unit or what or if they will be announcing it or even when and how this will affect the dollar or more importantly, precious metals. So with that said, let's talk Silver. Silver breaks $33 level with 5% surge. Gold hits new record highs. Now let's see what the actual um, prices are um, from some of these exchanges. So gold $2,721, silver $3,371, depending on where you look. Um, like I said, it was $3,390 something, $3,393 on um, the COMEX. But um, no, nevertheless, though, silver surges past $33, gold hits record highs, BRICS hints gold-backed currency payment system, economic uncertainties fuel precious metals rally. What's next for investors? A lot of people were asking why silver did that on Friday. Well, you know Fridays are always wild, but Mondays are even wilder, right? When the markets open up on Monday, or actually you know, Sunday night when everything kind of comes to fruition, two things could either happen. Obviously, either silver is going to skyrocket up with all the hype or it's going to correct back down, take a huge dip. 
So anyone who's thinking about buying right now on this hype, be careful because it could shoot sharply back down or it opens up and it could just skyrocket because everyone missed out on the, you know, on Friday, they're like, oh crap, okay, silver's about to do this. The BRICS meeting in three days, right? And when the markets open up on Monday, the BRICS meeting will be the next day. And then, you know, the, the, the November election, there's so much happening. But anyways, I'll shut up. Let's get... So in a dramatic turn of events for precious metals investors, silver surged past the $33 per ounce mark, registering a remarkable 5% increase. This breakthrough comes as gold continues to hit record-breaking runs, touching new highs of $2,716 per ounce. The precious metal market is witnessing unprecedented momentum, driven by a combination of geopolitical tensions, economic uncertainties, and shifting investor sentiments. A lot of people are saying gold would hit 10K if Kamala wins because people would be so worried about the economy that they would all turn towards safe haven assets like precious metals to park their money, which makes a lot of sense. For me, regardless of who wins, you should be doing that anyways because we're in a system that is designed to fail. So here's some key takeaways. Silver jumps to 33.10. And it's so crazy. This was written on the same day. The same day they wrote 33.10, it jumped up to 33.93 in the same day. Gold reaches new all-time high of 21.16. Analysts predict higher silver prices, citing technical indicators. The BRICS alliance hints at a new payment system, potentially backed by gold, called uh, the UNIT, which is also like Project Enbridge. Uh, you know, you have um, the. Uh, th there's so many things coming out of the BRICS. You have to be very uh, cautious with. Right. There's not just Project Enbridge or the unit. You also have the Belt Road Initiative. You have so many things that are kind of boiling up. And if they announce this this new currency on the 22nd, that would be huge. All these other countries passing their dollars, their U.S. dollars back to us, killing the dollar. The dollar is only as strong as people think it is. And if people think the dollar is not strong, it literally is not strong because it's backed by faith. It's all backed by faith, where the, BRICS, the new BRICS currency would be backed by physical gold. So U.S. national debt concerns and real estate market instability fuel precious metals rally. Um, so here's some uh, price targets. Investors are closely watching potential technical uh, formations in silver's price chart. Some analysts suggest these patterns could indicate further upside for silver prices. While predictions vary, historical precedent supports the possibility of significant price movements in silver between 2001 to 2011, silver surged from under $5 to $50, representing a 10x increase. BRICS payment system in gold. Um, reports suggest the BRICS alliance, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, is developing a new payment system. Um, some sources claim the system may include gold as a payment option, potentially as a part of a strategy to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar in international trade. However, official confirmation of these details is still pending. So since we're on that topic, let's go into this. Now, this is from Vietnam, Viet, Vietnamnews.vn, right? You have to look to other country um, websites to get information that would definitely be suppressed in the West. So this is where um, they talk about it. Now, indeed, BRICS does not seem to be aiming for economic convergence. Instead, it wants a technical solution that would enable more efficient cross-border transactions. In other words, BRICS wants to establish a common means of exchange that will be internationally accepted by all members of the organization, aka not America. We're with the G7. Uh, so with transactions set on an independent BRICS payment system, they're attempting to solve a very tangible problem. And this is, this is the BRICS currency. It will not be a currency per se. It will not take physical form. It will be a digital currency uh, backed by physical gold. It will be a notion in some, it will be a notional in some sense. Its main purpose is to act as a simple technical solution. A new BRICS currency or Enbridge unit or the unit will be based on gold in the basket of BRICS sovereign currencies with a ratio of 40 to 60 percent. That is 40. The demand for the U.S. dollars will almost certainly drop. That would kill the dollar. That would kill the dollar, a.k.a. skyrocket silver, since there is a direct correlation between um, the dollar's strength and silver strength. When the dollar index is down, gold and silver is up and vice versa. So economic concerns driving demand. The surge in precious metals prices comes against a backdrop of growing economic concerns. The national debt, we are $35 trillion in debt. Federal Reserve policy, there's speculation that the Fed may be compelled to cut interest rates due to the country's financial condition by rather than cooling inflation. Number three, real estate market instability. 
But number four, potential shift in investment patterns with trillions of dollars currently parked in money market accounts as potential for significant influx into precious metals. Bank of America analysts have noted this day that gold is the last safe haven asset standing, citing risks to U.S. Treasury from soaring debt levels. So here's the conclusion. As global economic dynamics continue to shift, precious metals are likely to remain in focus for investors seeking to diversify their portfolios and hedge against economic uncertainties. The current market conditions certainly provide a compelling narrative for precious metals bulls, but always individual investors should conduct their own research to consider their personal financial situations before making investment decisions, which I agree with, right? Don't just listen to me. Do your own research. Go look up the BRICS currency. Uh, you know, go look at this stuff you know, yourself as well, right? Um, you know, I bring the news to you and you could take or leave what you want. Um, I definitely, in my opinion, think that precious metals is by far the safest, smartest investment and silver, you know, more specifically has the most opportunity and potential given that it's only $34 and we're talking about something that is basically going extinct, especially as it's needed more and more and it's, you know, it's more valuable than gold in terms of how useful it is. But also, uh, there, we're talking about supply deficits, 770 million ounce deficit in the last four years alone. Don't take my word for that. Go look that up. They're expecting a 252 million ounce deficit this year. We've had record-breaking supply deficits the last several years. Go look that up yourself. 500 ounces of silver in a single Tomahawk missile. Go look that up yourself. With the amount of silver needed in military... 11,000 ounces in some torpedoes, uh, silver's needed in satellites, drones, surveillance system, rockets, AI chips, Samsung's new N-type uh, batteries going to require even more silver. And th the craziest part is we talk about a 1.2 billion ounce demand. Well, those numbers aren't even incorporating military and aerospace, which is a bigger sector than, uh, than, than solar, which is the number one sector on paper. Go look that up yourselves, which is crazy. So if we're talking about a 770 million ounce deficit in the last four years is actually much bigger than that because they're not incorporating the military or aerospace numbers, which military and aerospace, those are the biggest sectors alone. So we're talking about a situation that silver is falling off the face of the earth, but it's the most needed thing. And it's only $34 an ounce. Think about that. Anyways, folks, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you want videos like this brought to you on a daily basis. You know, you got to stay in the loop if you want to know what's going to happen on Monday. If you, want to, if you want to know what's going to happen on the BRICS meeting day or hear Andy's thoughts. I bet podcasts with Andy every single week or the November election, how that's going to affect the markets. Make sure you, sit, you click subscribe. You cannot be blindfully investing. I cover it all. I cover news that nobody else is talking about. I'm sure if you don't watch my channel, or if this is your first time, I bet you didn't know this statistic I'm about to say. Because I'm the only one that covers this stuff. Did you know that silver is at an all-time high right now in the Russian ruble? It's at all-time highs right now. The Indian rupee, it's at all-time highs right now. The Canadian dollar, it's at all-time highs right now. The Australian dollar, it's at all-time highs right now. The African rand, it's at all-time highs right now. And inches below its all-time high in the euro. Right now, as we speak, why isn't it at all-time highs in the U.S. dollar? Why is it only $34 when the all-time high is 50 in the U.S. dollar? It's like we are detached from reality, and um, there's a huge... Uh, I guess, suppression in the West, and there's a huge transfer of power from the West to the East. And they know that. They're taking advantage of it. Why? Russia is now buying all the silver. Go look all that stuff up as well, though. Don't just take my word. Go look. If you're going to do your homework, at least make sure you do the, your homework correctly, right? So, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. You know, I'm, I, I'm not saying this for my sake. I'm saying it for your own. I will bring stuff to you that you need to know consistently. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. This is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.